Hi, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Hector with Meistergram, and I'm here today to show you your design management window on your Meistergram rotary machine. This is the A15 control panel. It's the latest addition to the Meistergram series of embroidery machines. And here we're gonna show you the first step of operating your control panel, which is your design management. Your design management contains several options on this style of control panel. Design input, design output, onboard lettering and options such as zooming, playing the design on the screen, and deleting. The first step of operation is to import your design. Take your thumb drive, or better known as your USB drive, and insert it into the side of the machine. There are several ports on the side of the machines. You can choose whichever one you like. Once you've inserted the USB, press the USB icon located on the panel. Next, press USB, and the display will show you the files contained in your USB thumb drive. You may select the design of your choice and follow it by importing it into the memory by pressing the import key. The import pattern window will display the next available slot in the memory and the pattern name which you can edit before saving the design. Once you've made changes, go ahead and press the check mark to confirm. Next, exit the page and your design is now available on your machine's memory. The next option available under this category is design view. This option allows you to select the design of your preference and view it by pressing the key with the magnifying glass. Here you could zoom and even play the design. This option is very useful if you want to know the order of operation of the digitizing. To escape this page, simply press the key with the back door and confirm on the quit window. The next option we have on the control panel is exporting a file from the memory into your USB flash drive. Similar to the import procedures, we will start with taking our USB thumb drive and inserting it into the USB port of your preference. Once you've inserted your USB thumb drive, you will need to select the design of your preference from the memory. Next, press the export key and choose the USB thumb drive. You may edit the name. Once you've made changes, you can press the check mark to confirm. Your design has now been exported from your machine's memory into your USB thumb drive. Press the back door to clear the message. Your next feature is the ability to delete the design from the memory. To do so, simply choose the design of your preference and press on the trash can. A message will pop up asking if you wish to delete this pattern that you have chosen. If you wish to delete the pattern, press the check mark to confirm. The design that you have chosen has now been deleted. Another option that is available on the A15 panel is onboard lettering. To locate the lettering, simply press on the ABCD key located on the screen. The onboard lettering option has several preferences such as font, density, skewing, stretching, curving, and mirroring. To operate, simply start by pressing the string key. This will direct you to a window where you can import your text. Once you've chosen your text, press check mark to confirm. You will now see the selected text on the screen. Next, you may choose from a variety of fonts by pressing the key with the four different A's. Here you would see a wide variety of different fonts which you can choose. Press the font of your liking and confirm it with the check mark. You will see on the sample display your text is now changed to the font that you've selected. If you wish to increase density, you may do so at this moment by pressing the density key. You will activate the density by pressing on the S and now you will be able to control the density by either removing stitches or adding stitches. You will notice the difference on the screen. Once complete, press the X to return to your previous menu. Other options such as baseline changes and size changes will be available on the screen. 
For more information on all the options and settings for your onboard lettering, reference back to your control panel manual, which is located on our website. Once you have completed selecting your text, simply press on the icon with the floppy disk to save. You may name your file, and once again, press on the floppy key to save. Your design has now been saved to your machine's memory. In order to return to your previous page, simply press the key with the back door and confirm on the quit window. Your design is now available on your machine's memory. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications for newer videos that we put up and comment below if you like what you see. Until next time, see ya.